equations. This form right here is called point slope form. Can we give examples of the intercept? Mm -hmm. Point slope form. You use this when you have a point and a slope. Okay. Slope intercept form. If I tell you that m equals one third and the y intercept is five, you can write the equation automatically, hopefully. <laughs> so what would the equation of this this line be? Y equals one third x plus five. That's it. If you're given this information, you have the equation. Oh, no, no, I was just thinking you said y intercept and I just looked at the y. And oh, okay. Y Not y, the y intercept. The big difference between y and the y intercept. The y intercept is just one point on your line. Y could be anything, depending on what x is. Okay. Point slope form, this is what you use when you have a slope and a point. Not the y intercept. But if you're given something like 2, 3, and the fact that m equals negative 4, this is what you use. You are given a, a point, x1, y1. That's why the subscripts are there. Anything with a subscript, it's going to be a number replacing it. Okay? So then you follow this. This is one that you have. These you have to have memorized. Everything else, the quadratic formula, the distance formula, that's all given to you. The growth formula. These you should be expected to know. So it's just y minus 3 equals negative 4, parentheses, x minus 2. This is point, if you're asked to give it in point slope form, you leave it in this form. If you're asked to give it in slope intercept form, it's two steps. Distribute and isolate y. So if you want, if you were asked to give something in slope intercept form, but you were starting off with a point and a slope, then all you need to do is distribute here. So you have y minus 3 equals negative 4x plus 8. Don't forget, you're distributing a negative. And then you have to isolate y. So, it's like 11. so you're going to add 3 to both sides. So that means this is your new equation. Plus 3, plus 3. You have to add it to the constant, not to the x. And then y equals negative 4x plus 11. This is slope-intercept form. So you start with this. This is really just a starting point. This form right here is used mostly to get you where you need to go. It's, it's, if you have a point and a slope, start with point-slope form. And then go where you need to go. Some of them you're asked to put it into standard form. This is the last one. And this is standard form. Standard form has x and y on the same side. You're not allowed any decimals or fractions. A, B, and C are integers. Integers are the whole numbers and their opposites. And 0. And A and B can't be 0 at the same time. Because that would be, that would leave it as 0 equals another number, which wouldn't make any sense. Okay. Standard form. If we want to change this to standard form, we need to get everything. Y equals negative 4x plus 11. If it says get it to standard form, x and y have to be on the same side. It's really only one step. What do you need to do? I don't you want to move y because it's like x. You don't want to negative. No, you can put this right here. And the other requirement is A must be positive. A must be positive. 4x plus 1y equals 11. A is 4, B is 1, C is 11. They're not fractions or decimals. A is positive. You're done. So this and this and this, these are all the same line, just different ways to write them. So in standard form, it can be negative? <clears throat> a cannot be negative. B could be negative. You could have a minus in between. That means B is negative. You could have a negative constant, but you can't have a negative in front of um, x. So when you see slope intercept, it will just be m equals a number? Really when you see slope, when you're asked to give slope intercept form, mm -hmm. first you need to find m. If it's not given to you, this is the formula to use. Can we go for that? To find. Mm -hmm. So we'll always be given our coordinates. Right. So let's say your um, ordered pairs 
our 5, negative 1, and let's see if we can actually work this out. Well, okay, no, I'm just going to do something random. Negative 3, um, 4. What's that if, called? This is finding slope. If you're, given, yeah, if you're given two points, the first thing you always, always do is find the slope. That's it. If you're given two points, find the slope first. Susanna? On the exam, are you going to be, are you going to say, like, use point slope for everyone? Yes. Or so you're not yes. Just give us, okay, cool. Yes. I mean, typical examples, write an equation in slope-intercept form with a slope of. Oh. Okay. Passing through. Write an equation in slope-intercept form of the line with the y-intercept of this and and um, every time find you, the x-intercept form. We'll talk about that in a second. Okay. Every time you do point slope form, you have to change it in the standard form with your dying points. You all leave it in the form that you're asked to leave it. Okay. Some you'll have to leave it. Okay. Because there is a minus in the slope formula, that doesn't take away a negative coordinate. It means you have two negatives next to each other, which will be a plus. And then negative 3 minus 5. Keep in mind, if you start with this y coordinate on the top, you have to start with the x that goes with it on the bottom, or else you'll flip flop and you end up with the, with the sign error. So this becomes 4 minus a negative 1 is the same thing as 4 plus 1, and negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. This is your slope. Don't change it to a decimal, don't change it to a mixed number if you could, just leave it like that. Now you have a, a slope and a point, pick one. And you can, you can write the equation. So do you understand how you could? You take this. I'm not going to use this as an example because I'm not going to give you 5 eighths to plug in and distribute. But this, which you could, you have calculated, but still, no, just for review to say, slope. this you would take, yes, I would go to point slope form, and put whatever you have for m here. Pick an order pair. It doesn't matter which one. They're on the same line. So you're going to get the same equation no matter which one you use. Pick the one that's easiest to you to use and then plug it in here and here make sure the y coordinate goes here y coordinate second so make sure you're plugging in properly it's easy to go left right and put the wrong coordinate in make sure you put the y here and the x here and then you distribute and isolate y if you need to the okay. other fraction for yeah M, M is good to have a fraction because this is clearly it's up, up and over down eight. actually down is negative down five and over eight you either go up or down, positive or negative, and you always go to the right. But when you like graph, like how would you, can you tell us to graph? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like how would you graph? Graph. I'll give you an example. What's like, graph? But like there's so there's that you rise one and over the you start at five, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is your beginning. This is tells you where to go from there. So we start at five and then we'll go up, up one, one over three. Put it out. Up one but, over three. But for like five, negative eight will be up five and then. If this, if either one is negative, you move the negative sign out in front. Yeah. So you know it's a negative slope, which means you're going to be falling and running instead of rising. What if they're both negative? They won't be. They'll cancel each other out. If they're both negative, it's a positive. Okay. All right. Yeah, that part always. Yeah, if you have two negatives in a fraction, it's a negative divided by a, a negative, which is a positive. Will you be able to graph the point slope form? No, it's no. You can really need slope intercept form to graph. Okay, but will you be able to get a point slope form and tell them to it and be told to get yes. put it in slope intercept form? You can be um, that's, yes. yeah, that's, that's it right there. Distribute and isolate y. That's it. Two steps. Yeah, that's what you that's distribute what that's and you that's move that's this that's over. That's and you you've got the slope intercept form. So you just put a one over there. Oh yeah, if you were graph right, if you were graphing it, you couldn't see the run. It's a one. Okay, but would you ever graph the standard form? Yes, yes. Here's an example. We need to fit. There's there's um, two parts to this number three for systems that I'll finish in a minute. Um, here we go. Graph, and we'll go over to the smart board for this. So what? We need to move that that camera. 